Hey everyone, I'm Jim. When I first started using Unreal Engine, the thing that I absolutely loved about it was the template projects. For those of you that don't know, Unreal Engine has created several template projects to get you started and to show you some of the various aspects of working in Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine, like many other game engines, make use of a lot of binary files. And these can present some unique challenges when implementing source control into your projects. Now, there's a new product on the market called Diversion, and I found this is a great source control solution for working in Unreal Engine to manage your binary files. Diversion has some great tools built into it that help game developers manage their assets. And one of the things I love about Diversion is actually their Unreal Engine plugin, so you can work directly in the engine and you don't necessarily need another third-party software to manage your assets. So I'm gonna start by installing this Diversion Source Control plugin into my engine, and I'm using 5.4, so I'll go ahead and get that started. But also, I want to create a new project from scratch to use for this video, just to show that we are starting from scratch and we haven't already done any pre-work. So I'm gonna use the first person template for this project. We'll keep everything in blueprints, pretty simple. And I'll just call this managing assets. So here's that fresh project. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go to my edit and then plugins. And I just wanna find the diversion plugin and I'm going to enable this. And then I just need to restart the editor really quickly. And while my project is starting back up, I'm gonna to go to the Diversion website and I'm going to download their app. So to do this, you'll need to make an account and then you can download the desktop app. Once it downloads, we'll go ahead and do a quick install. And there we have it. Now we have this desktop app installed. So just to recap real quick, I have installed the plugin. I have the desktop app open and I've created an account and logged into it on my account. So the next step is down here in the bottom right corner of my editor. I'm gonna select revision control, connect to revision control. I'm gonna select diversion and it's just making sure that I'm directing to the right file path and this one is where my project is. So I'll select initialize project with diversion. This is gonna set it up on source control and then I can say accept settings and I get a note that says the connection was successful. Back in the desktop app, I can now see that repository and I can click it here and it'll give me some information on what's going on. Right now it's syncing my project to the remote repository. And over here on the left, I can see the files that are currently in that project. Now, like other solutions, like if you've used the GitHub desktop or something like SourceTree, you may be familiar with UIs like this. For those of you that are more comfortable working in an environment like this, this app is very similar to those other UI interfaces. But one of the things I love about Diversion is working directly in Unreal Engine with that Diversion plugin. If we go back to Unreal Engine, we can now see that all of our assets in our project have this little plus next to them. And this is because the Diversion plugin is giving us some hints about what it's gonna do with these files in regards to source control. And so this little plus here means that this item is scheduled for addition, which means that when we do a commit, this will be added to the repository. And I can create a new blueprint by right-clicking and selecting actor. We'll just call this demo actor. And we can see that this has a little question mark, and this is because the file has not been added to the repository yet. To fix this, we can just save this asset and it'll go to resync it. And now we can see that this also has a plus sign next to it. And I can do the commit directly through this diversion plugin. And this would be done similarly to if you've used the GitHub client or source trees client or any of the other Git solutions that have desktop clients. So I would select all of the files that are gonna be added or changed. I can write a commit message and then I can select commit. But I can also do this directly through Unreal Engine by going to revision control, commit changes, and then here it'll actually allow me to write that commit message and I can select commit. And notice that all of the plus signs went away because now those files have been added to the repository. So these exist in the repository under that commit. I could show you one other helper that Diversion is gonna give us. 
And if we hover over this, it'll tell us a little hint that there are no modifications to these files. And one of the things that I really don't like about this template project is this sound that plays when we fire the weapon. So I'm actually going to just delete that from this blueprint. And when I compile and save and I go back, notice that now this file has a little red check mark next to it. And when I hover over, it says this item has been modified. So this is going to give you another hint that this is one of the files that will be in the changes for our next commit. And if I go to the plugin, I can see that as well by drilling down and seeing my BP weapon component U asset file now has a modification to it. And I can also go to this view here, which just shows the change list. And I can see a list of all the changes there. I can see that weapon asset. So I can just do another commit and say that I changed the weapon component, do a commit. And now the check mark has gone away and we can see again that there are no modifications. And unless you are a solo developer, you've probably run across a pesky merge conflict from time to time. And one of the things that's great about the diversion plugin is that it will actually give us a warning directly in our Unreal Engine editor if we are about to make a change to a file that has another change on it. So here in my file, I wanted to make a change to this BP pickup rifle, but I see that there is a little exclamation point. And when I hover over it, it tells me that there's a potential conflict that someone has already made a modification to this file. And it's actually telling me that the change to that file exists on another branch even. So even though I'm currently in the main branch of my project and someone has made a change on another branch, it's still giving me a notification. So this can go a long way in preventing merge conflicts and adding another layer of communication to your team that it happens directly in the Unreal Engine editor. So this is a great benefit to this diversion plugin. And I think this could potentially save hours of work down the line fixing merge conflicts. And if I right click on the file and go to revision control, I can go to this diff against depot. And when I select that, it's actually telling me exactly where the change exists. So if I go to this relative scale 3D changed, I can see that on the current revision that I'm in, that my scale is set to one. And then on this other revision, there is a scale set to 1.2. So I can actually see what the change is directly in the Unreal Engine editor. And this is not typically something that you can do with other source control solutions because it is using those binary files. You aren't able to see what the changes are, but with this plugin, you can see them in the Unreal Engine editor and you can make a decision which one you want to change because you'll have a lot more information to go upon. So hopefully you learned a lot in this video. I hope that you'll check out this diversion plugin and see if it can work for your team. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comments, or you can check out my discord where you can communicate with other developers. And that link will be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.